Mahmoud Abbas. President Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas praised Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid for his public support of a two-state solution, but demanded Israelis demonstrate their commitment by immediately resuming long-stalled peace talks. Does the Israeli people want to remain a colonizing people forever? They have been so for 75 years. Until when? I would like to ask you. Should we wait for a century or maybe two centuries? His words come a day after Lapid became the first Israeli leader in years to back a two-state solution from the podium of the United Nations. An agreement with the Palestinians based on the two states for two people is the right thing for Israel's security, for Israel's economy, and for the future of our children. Peace is not a compromise. It is the most courageous decision we can make. Lipid's mention of a two-state formula echoed U.S. President Joe Biden's support for the long dormant proposal. Israel captured East Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza, areas that Palestinians seek for an independent state in the 1967 Middle East War. U.S.-sponsored Israeli-Palestinian peace talks collapsed in 2014. Palestinians and rights groups say Israel has entrenched its control of the occupied Palestinian territories through its military rule over millions of Palestinians and persistent settlement construction. Most countries deem Israel's West Bank settlements illegal. Israel disputes that, describing the territory as a biblical birthright and defensive bulwark. Abbas said that while Western governments have supported the two-state formula, they effectively blocked it from happening by failing to recognize Palestine as a state and by shielding Israel from accountability. A true test to the credibility of the stance, Abbas said at the UN, is for Israel to return to the negotiating table immediately. He asked the United Nations to recognize full state membership for Palestine and lay out a plan to end Israel's occupation.